Georgia Southern Athletics here with head coach Charlton C.Y. Young. If you thought that Georgia Southern basketball was a value before, it definitely had some free basketball today. Coach, tell us a little bit about the exceptional second half and the win in overtime. Um, great win for our program and for our young men. Uh, good to see us uh, fight and have the character and the resolve uh, that a Georgia Southern team is supposed to have. Uh, everybody knows we were in trouble. Uh, the game did not start the way we planned. Uh, 17 to uh, zip. <laughs> I thought I was looking at Monday Night Football for a while. But um, we came back and we fought back. We never quit. Uh, we stayed together. Uh, and that's very important when you're trying to put together a championship team because uh, along that journey to a championship, you got to fight through tough games. And you're going to be behind. And in a perfect world, you can go in and beat everybody by 25 points, but it's just not going to happen that way. So in order to be a championship program and championship team, you got to win games like this. And I'm glad that our guys know now that they can do it. So uh, when we get in this situation again, we won't have that deer and headlight type look in our eyes. We'll have that grit and that look of, hey, we've done it before. We can do it again. Stay together. So uh, today was a monumental day for, for this team in our program. And uh, hopefully this will help us take off. You spoke to it about it just a little bit. Down 17 to nothing to start the game. Called some timeouts, told your team to stay in it. They were getting some good looks. It was just going to be a matter of time until those baskets started to fall. What were some of the other adjustments you had to make as a coach to get that score closer at halftime and then as you moved into the second half? Well, we had to simplify our offense um, because they're, they're very good at changing defenses. And uh, us having to think and trying to figure out what they were doing made us pass it. And, and that's what got us in the situation. So we just tried to say, hey, we, we're going to run one one deal. Don't worry about their, what they're running, whether it's man or whether it's zone. Let's execute this one set. And that took the thinking out for our team, and they were able to become aggressive again. So uh, we learned a little bit about our team today. Um, but we also learned that when we're aggressive, uh, we, we're, we're pretty good. Looking at the stat sheet, down by eight points, with down by ten points, with about two minutes left in the game, you held Georgia State's completely scoreless. Eric Ferson stepped up, scored the last nine points of the game, two tie at 55-55, headed into overtime. Were those called plays? Were those things that evolved at the end of the game? Were they feeding completely off the defense? How did the last two minutes kind of put things together for Georgia Southern? Well, we wanted to uh, spread their zone out and get guys in spots where they weren't used to having people. Um, we went to like to a four out one in look and uh, it just opened up the gaps uh, for people to step in and knock down open threes and um, great ball movement by our team. Um, great job of making the extra pass. Great job by uh, Eric and, and CJ and, and, and Brian Holmes, you know, stepping in the shots one, two and, uh, and Trey Bussey shooting them with confidence. So, um, it was a team effort, and that was the beautiful thing about today. I mean, Brian Holmes was unbelievable uh, as a point guard. Um, gave C.J. a rest where he could get off the ball and look for his offense. Eric Ferguson was, was huge. Um, but Cam Dunnigan and Chris Daniels, um, very proud of them. Sam Mike, our entire bench came to play. Um, C.J. and Cleon didn't have a great offensive game. They struggled. Somebody else stepped up. I felt like Marvin... And Dunnigan stepped up for Baskerville. Baskerville's been hurt with a shoulder injury, so he's fighting through it. Uh, but even Cam uh, was a senior and came in and knocked down big free throws. And he's been knocking down big free throws for us all year. So uh, I'm just so proud of our entire team, a team effort. And uh, in order to win a championship, you got to have a team. you got to have a championship team because it's going to be somebody different every night that steps up and, uh, and makes the, the big plays. Definitely saw that chemistry starting to come together more, even just with practice this week, knowing that even when they got down, they had a chance. Certainly other teams down by double digits with two minutes left in the go of the game may have just given up. This team had the determination. They trusted each other to come and get it done. In overtime, uh, Eric had a great pass to CJ. Only basket of the night, huge three-pointer to give George Southern their only lead of the game until winning. What were some of the things that you were telling them in that last five minutes? Well, just don't panic and take bad ones. Keep making the extra pass. You know, sometimes the crowd gets excited and they scream, shoot it, shoot it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough one because you don't want to take quick bad shots and let the game 
get out of hand because when you take quick ones and you don't take good shots, most times it's going to open up transition for the opposing team. And uh, our guys played with poise. They moved the ball. They penetrated. They kicked it. And those shots they were taking were, were open looks. They stepped in. They knocked them down. And, and uh, it was not just a good shot but also a good assist from uh, on the play. And the play that C.J. Reed knocked down to, to put us over the hump, Eric Ferguson penetrated to the middle of the court and kicked it across the court, inside-outside shot. Um, very, very good, sound basketball. Well, we've talked about that before, and you were just speaking about not the the offense coming together, but certainly defense played a huge role in today's game, being able to shut down the Panthers the last two minutes of the game. What were some of the things you had to do as a coach, as a team, to make sure the defense could feed the offense? Well, we, we tried to um, stick a wrench in their continuity, so to speak. Um, we identified a couple players that we didn't think were great ball handlers, uh, and when they got it, we tried to shut down and deny it and break their offense up and make them have to make a play. And um, they struggled. They had two or three guys that, that weren't used to having to handle the ball. They're used to Devontae White doing all the, the primary ball handling. Um, and we forced them into 23 turnovers. Um, I was very proud of um, the way we pressed at the end of the game because this is, hasn't been uh, a pressing team. Uh, we kind of pressed out of necessity. Now, that's the way Georgia Southern basketball, that's the way we like to play. But with this team, because of, um, you know, lost some pieces and, and the kind of players uh, that we have, we're not a great pressing team. But they did an unbelievable job in the last 10 minutes of pressing and in a disciplined fashion. It wasn't just running around, but red traps, stepped up to 2-2-1, uh, spread the lanes and recovered um, out of it when they were beat. And that's the key to a press is, is you're going to get as many turnovers out of the recovery as you do the press. So uh, we did some really good things and some things that we can build on defensively. Well, Coach, we know you're going to do a lot more building this week. You're getting ready for UAB on Wednesday night to start 2013. We'll let, let you get back at it. And North Carolina A&T next Saturday at home before conference kicks back in. Thank you very much. Go Eagles.